Pepe Bestack, baby, let's go! Pepe Revolution! Who's Miss Pepe? Who missed Pepe? If you miss Pepe, if you miss Pepe, let me know down in the comments below how much you miss Pepe. Because I miss Pepe, bro. I miss Pepe with all my heart, all my soul. Pepe's back. But it's not just normal Pepe. It is the Pepe Revolution. The Pepe Revolution, baby. You guys are going to see right now, rank four spam. Pepe Revolution. Let's go. So if you're hyped for this video, smash the subscribe button. Check out the beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Triff Gaming Playmats. Because you played this, this Pepe deck. On a Triff Electro playmat, which is on TriffGaming.com, as well as some other very beautiful playmats that you should go check right now because they're all on sale. Then you'll destroy your opponent. So, with that being said, smash the subscribe button and let's go show you guys the greatest Pepe combo since 2016. The whole idea behind this deck, the game plan, the game plan behind Pepe is very simple. It's almost the same as before. You put up an unbreakable board and then you just do the same thing next turn because you're gonna have a plus four every single turn. And you're gonna have four cards, you're gonna have three cards, you're gonna have scales, everything you're gonna see right now. So, the whole point of Revolution Dragon, why Revolution Dragon makes this deck so good and so playable right now, is that it searches you so much blowout cards. So, we already have Luster Pendulum, right? But Revolution Dragon could search you Luster Pendulum or Dark Worm, and then you combine them together with Gilding Ariane, Abyss Actor Wild Hope, as you see I'm doing right here, or Pen Call. So, what Abyss Actor Wild Hope does is when it gets destroyed, it's a double iris is banned. Double iris is banned. Just like uh, my playmat that's banned, my double iris playmat got sold out now. You guys, you know, missed out on that one. But anyways, what it does is when it destroys, gets destroyed, you can search uh, another Abyss Actor monster from your deck. So, Luster would then search curtain ra uh, search uh, another Wild Hope by Luster's own effect. Because it gets destroyed, it adds another Curtain Razor. It's a plus one. The deck needs as many plus one cards in scale as possible. So any card in the scale that says, when this card is destroyed, add a card or plus one or whatever it may be, you throw that in your deck instantly. Because it makes Revolution Dragon and Luster incredible. It makes Sky Iris incredible. It makes your whole deck incredible. But then it, it's even better there. We're going to use Revolution Dragon here to search Dark Worm. And we're going to pen call Dark Worm here. And is that possible with a Revolution Dragon? Hell no. Hell no. You have so many blowouts here, and that's the beauty of Revolution Dragon. There's like 10 ways into it, you're going to see as we continue into the duel. We're going to go darker, we're going to get gate zero, and now it gets even better, bro. It's going to get even better. So here, you're going to think, yo, you're going to do a lot of stuff. I'm going to activate Celestial Magician here. We throw Magicians in here as well. It's just a great synergy. Level 4 spam. Everything in the deck's level 4. Gate zero, and a little surprise is the only thing that's not. And now here, yo, what about, how are you going to do a crazy combo, right? Rafflesia is going to protect us from Nibiru. There's no Endymion in this deck. There's no pe There's no Servant. There's no Jackal. There's only one Jackal. I'll explain why later. But you need to protect yourself from Nibiru. So now Rafflesia protects you from Nibiru. And then they're all rank fours. So you don't play Treacherous. You play Grave Digger Trapple. And it protects you from Nibiru. And all hand traps. So if they hand trap me at any point, if they Ash Pen Call, I don't give a fuck. I don't care. Doesn't do anything. I'm always carrying Nibiru. So now you got you're all protected from Nibiru, and then you search the big dog on campus, baby. The four ball pendulum sorcerer. Oh my god, I love this card, bro. I love this card. That's a big dog on campus, bro. You are now protected from Nibiru, and you cannot destroy your opponent's will to ever play Yu-Gi-Oh ever again by showing him the real Pepe back and ready to destroy. And it gets even better because of the new cards. We're gonna use. Welcome back, my favorite turtle and my favorite lizard. Welcome back to the pen gang, bro. Welcome back. Welcome back, bro. Welcome back to tier zero. Let's go. So, we're going to use harmonizing here. Now, here's where it gets really cool. We're going to use Time Star to search Magician Souls. For those budget players out there, this entire deck is budget to the max, with the exception of the one Time Star Magician. I personally love the Time Star because it gets you the Jackal to go to the graveyard. But if Time Star does not search the souls, the play would not be possible. One souls is all you need. Souls will send them one Jackal King. Your next play. And you're going to link these two into Artifact Degda. That's right. Was there any links in Pepe format? No. This is the revolution, boys. This is the revolution. We're now going to go into Tornado Dragon here. And I'm sure you guys see where this is going. Turtle Lizard. Effect Lizard. Set the sight. Start drawing some cards. Draw two. Before we use Lizard Effect, uh, we use Turtle there. Before we use Lizard, we're going to search the, the Dragon. Search Solemn. Now, if we search Gilding Ariane, if you join to Ariane, we search into a Solemn, that's great. That's the beauty of the deck. You thin out your entire deck. We're at 20 cards left in deck, and there's 45 cards in the deck or something. But Turtle Lizard gives you two free draws. So if you don't hard draw Ariane or Solemn Judgment in the opening, you have six of them. You just draw one of them anyway. So that's how you, it's a great uh, addition to your board. So next, we're going to go into Selene. And remember that Souls that sent Jackal? 
Well, you're gonna summon that jackal back. Then you're gonna activate the sc low scale, storing counters on the jackal. Now you have the solemn judgment. You have a Rephlesia who's gonna send the trap hold card. You have jackal, and here's where it gets really good. The end phase, you're gonna search your follow up. You drew two with lizard draw and turtle. The harmonizing brought us, remember Celestial Magician, you search it with pen call and you normal summoned it. Remember you normal summoned the Celestial Magician? Well, that Celestial Magician is going to search you the follow up in Harmonizing Magician. Next turn, you're pen summoning more monsters. And guess what? On their turn, Artifact Scythe. You turn into dragon your own Artifact Scythe that you got from Dagda. Your opponent cannot play through one Scythe, let alone Scythe, Rafflesia, Jackal, Solemn Judgment. And then it gets even better. If your opponent activates two spell cards, which I mean, they can't activate monster cards. So, when they activate two spell cards, you could remove three count. We're going to put the Scythe above Solemn Judgment, by the way, not under the Selene, obviously. But you're going to use Selene to summon Pen Sorcerer. So then you could use Perform a Pendulum Sorcerer, which does not specify only on your turn. Use Perform a Pendulum Sorcerer to summon on your opponent's turn, and then you get more plus. Hello. You pop the Wild Hope. You get another. Oh my god, bro. Haha. <laughs> Start your throw five cards, destroy your opponent. Now this is combo number one. In the future, I'll be showing you guys more combos utilizing this deck, uh, as well as Patreon and Pendulum Training down below. If you guys want to learn more about this deck and all the other Pendulum decks, sign up my Pendulum Training down below. You got great options there, depending on what you want to learn. But that's it, that's it for the combo. Your opponent obviously cannot do anything about it. And uh, I hate to break it to you guys, but there will be no deck profile. Fucking psych, baby! Deck profile coming out right now. Let's go! Let's go! Can I get us? If you're watching right now, let's get a spam of Pepe Best Deck down in the comments, bro. Pepe Best Deck. And smash the like button if you like what you see so far. We're gonna get straight into the deck profile now. And I'll be doing lots of duels of this deck in the future. So stay tuned for Pepe Duels on Rated on the channel. That's why you gotta smash the notification bell to see it. With that being said, deck profile time. Let's go, baby. And this is the deck profile. Very amazing deck. Very consistent, extremely consistent, and here's why. Everything's a level four, okay? Now, before I talk about the cards you know, one by one, I want you guys to understand what Revolution Dragon and Sky Iris does. What they allow you to do is they get to search your blow card. I don't know if you guys remember my previous video on Pendulum Magician with Revolution Dragon. I said that this allows you to search Dark Room at ease and pen call Dark Room is Exodia, right? So you have like six auto wins and six pen call. But now, because Revolution Dragon can also search Lesser Pendulum, Lesser Pendulum Ariane is almost like its own auto win. Same with the Wild Hope. It gives you so much plusing, right? Well, and again, lets you play through Rafflesia, so uh, the Biru. So you have like 12, like, like incredible, incredible plus cards. But if you draw one, you kind of just win. So uh, it, 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 it's just really powerful. Pendulum Sorcerer, being able to search the, the follow ups of Turtle and Lizard is huge. It also triggers the Dagda, even though it doesn't really need B. You can use Tornado Dragon to pop your scale, and then Time Star will protect your scale, and then bring a. a Pen, if you don't open, let's say you don't open these, you go Tornado Dragon to pop your scale, and then Time Star Magician will trigger to send Sork to the graveyard, and then you can use Selene to actually summon the Sorcerer from your graveyard after Tornado protected the field, and then you could trigger Sorcerer on your turn, pop your scales, draw more cards for a better follow up. So it's all about the follow up. All of, and you want to draw the cards, that's why you put Turtle Lizard in there. Because you want to draw into the Ariane and the Solemn as much as you can, because you can pop it so easy with your cards. Uh, so I'm gonna talk about the deck list now. So triple sorcerer, one turtle, one lizard, one celestial. These are the three. I kind of want to add in a second celestial to trigger uh, sorcerer uh, again if you have it. Or if you uh, more than twice, if you have turtle lizard and celestial. Harmonizing. This is all a level four spam deck. Okay, they're all level four. So harmonizing is absolutely amazing to open. Whether you have pen call or not with it, you always want to see the harmonizing no matter what. It's so 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 powerful. Double purple poison because you want luster pendulum to pop the poison going second. So for a deck that's like. That, that, that just have uh, a trap decks, whatever it may be. It's such a great matchup because you search luster via like six cards you have and use Pro Poison to pop it. This is not Draco Pal, this is Pepe. So, uh, modern day Pepe. So, uh, even though I know that means performages, but it's like level rank four's Perform Pal dra uh, Dragon Spam. That's essentially what it is. Uh, with plus cards that get destroyed. So, you want plus cards to get destroyed in your skills. So, Pro Poison, Wild Hope, and Ariadne are the cards that. Destroy themselves and get a plus. So you want to make sure you have double purple poison for that luster play and luster searchable by these. Triple dark room, your only normal summon that you care about, and celestial, they're your only normal summons you want. So you want multiple. Uh, even if you have Revolution Dragon to get the Dark Room, you want Revolution Dragon to get Luster if need be. If you don't play face off and stuff, it's not Draco Pal. Draco Overlord will just be a brick for you. There's no requirement for it. 1 0. Triple Revolution Dragon. I'll play six Revolution Dragons if you can. Revolution Dragon is not once per turn, which is ridiculous. Uh, card's amazing. 
uh, search whatever you want depending on the situation situation as long as you can have dark Orb and luster be really good in a deck which is how we built this deck i don't know if you guys notice the deck the pepe revolution is building the entire deck around dark Orb and luster pendulum these are two of arguably the best pendulum monsters ever created so if you create your deck revolved around luster pendulum for example wild hope gilding ariane if you play your deck revolved around dark Orb, pen call blues alliance then it's remarkable and the fact that you have the sorcerer as well to draw into the ariane with the turtle and lizard draw to pop the Ariadne, to have Blue's Alliance uh, add the Sorcerer, it all comes full circle together. And the fact that the Pen and the Celestia Magician, both of them and a Magician, absolutely amazing. Have Pearl Poison be a Magician and card for Luster Pendulum, it works so, so, so well together. Uh, it's amazing. And the fact that you can add souls and get the Jackal you need, so good. Tornado, all right, level 4 for Tornado Dragon, that's why it all works together. You only play one Curtain Razor for the Wild Hope. If you happen to draw Wild Hope, and curtain razor that's extremely like there's a high chance you're not going to do that uh it's just a, drawing a three of and a one of is very drawing a one of is difficult in its own but then if you draw three of together it's just not going to happen if you draw the razor and not wild hope doesn't matter but wild hope is just there to pop with luster to add the free curtain razor and if you don't open pengo dark worm you can uh, then use the wild hope and, and curtain razor to get that one level four extender as you guys saw the combo over there you don't need to link two right off the bat this combo focuses on Rephlesia before the Pen Summon. That way you don't get Nibiru, and Nibiru is irrelevant because Grave Digger's Trap Hole stops Nibiru, which is very important. Uh, so yeah, that's our three Wild Hope, one Razor. Triple Air Yane, I would play with six Air Yane if possible. I try lots of engines with Wavering Eyes as well. This is just the best. One Jackal is all you need. No servers, no nothing. The Jackal is specifically, you're not Pendulum summoning the Jackal ever. If you hard draw it, you just you summon off Selene. If the one Jackal is there because of the Magician Souls play, which is very, very, very powerful. And Souls of Iris is obviously very good. One side all you need. Triple Pengo, Triple Alliance, Double Allure. You could arguably take out the Allure if you want to. But the fact that there's so many darks and the cards that are not dark, search, like Pen Call searches the dark. Revolution Dragon searches the dark. What are you going to do with your Gate Zero? There's lots of, like, a lot more darks than you think. You get an extra Wild Hope after Luster Pendulum, which you don't need. So Allure is pretty good. You could uh, potentially take out the Allures. In fact, if it's possible, I would like to play a 50 card deck here because. You don't really want to open your trap cards, you'd rather search them. You don't really want to open Scythe, you know, you'd rather search. You don't want to open Souls as part of your combo, stuff like that. So, if you open it, it doesn't matter. I mean, it's an interruption, but the more cards, the better. That's why we're playing 43 instead of 40. And Allure kind of get, lets you get rid of, like, the Souls, the Jackal, if you don't need. So, Allure is good for that. Double Iris, you don't want to ever open two Irises. So, two Irises is all you need. And there's no Endymion cards, as you guys noticed. So, there's no need to play a bunch of spell cards just for the fact that we get counters. There's not even Abductor because that low scale is going to be very important for you. And it's very rare to get Abductor to actually resolve or Iris in this deck. Unless you hard draw Duelist Alliance or Sky Iris. Not too high of a chance, so I don't even play the Abductor. Uh, and then uh, one Gary Gregory Trap Hole. Going first, I put in a second a Rephlesia as a Treacherous as well. To have two Trap Hole cards. One for Nibiru, one for the opponent's turn. Uh, in this uh, method, if you actually use a Gary, uh, they get Trap Hole to stop the Nibiru, you just link away the Rephlesia. Uh, and triple solemn going first I put in a fourth solemn uh, because drawing them is fantastic so going first I put in these two over like the two sky irises or two allures because if you hard draw the traps they're really good going first anyways so it's irrelevant uh, if, if they're not a brick they just like help you they, they stop your opponent by themselves they're extremely powerful and uh, for side decking you always put in the double or nothing package there's no desires because the way the deck is built it's desires is not good in this deck but uh, what you'll do is you'll always going second you side out scythe and the six traps so there's seven cards and every single matchup uh, that you have in the side deck you have exactly seven to take out double or nothing like for back row you have these five but then you also, i like uh, treacherous against back row decks like it literally just outright destroys their entire offensive play and they never see it coming so i put in these seven for trap decks and then uh the chalice if, if need be but not really uh treacherous is also extremely powerful but i'd prefer to watch out for uh the blowout of nibiru but with Rafflesia, the deck is just built so well to ensure that you don't lose to stuff like that. Uh, the side deck for combo, you have more than enough to side in. Uh, for Numeron decks, you have more than enough to side in. Always side in Treacherous and Strike versus the Numeron decks. Uh, because you could just s s relax and set, set them and then just strike the Zexel. It's arguable in this format. You might want to play Triple Strike over the Judgments. Because going second, you could just set the Strike and stop the Zexel play. But 
uh, I just love Solemn Judgment by itself. So it is arguable if you want to play Triple Strike over it. But then, uh, ju Judgment is just Judgment. Actually, deck, you just a uh, low link count. It's all rank four spam. Like you saw, you guys see how much rank fours are in here. It's rank four spam to the max, especially when you could uh, try to XYZ the Dark Room because the follow up is gigantic. You guys saw Turtle Lizard and Scale. Uh, sorry, you have two scales, two cards in hand. And the cards in hand are something three cards. Plus, the, you're going to pendulum summon four times every turn. So you basically get two XY two rank fours every turn. Uh, Dag Devil that play uh, Bujinki Akashima is incredible going second. It's Nightmare Phoenix without getting rid of a card. It's, it's remarkable, uh, this card. Uh, Celine, uh, Appaloosa, and Axe Code, Ign one Ignister because you can make it with Harmonizing going second and summon back the Luster. Uh, Time Star, Rafflesia, Tornado, Dweller, Baguska, uh, Dryden, and Chakanine, uh, Utopia, and Utopia Lightning, but you obviously put in the double uh, after, you're, you're, uh, after you're going second. That's the video, that's the combo tutorial, the main combo tutorial and the deck profile. Obviously, there's many different ways to do the combo tutorial. There's hundreds of different combos, which is why I told you that I'm sure you guys an in-depth analysis on it in a future Patreon video, so go sign up on Patreon if you want to see that. And uh, put on the location bell as well, because there's going to be a lot of duels soon. I really love this deck. And for those that are into rogue tournaments, you're not allowed to play magicians in rogue tournaments, but there is a really good way to play this deck without the magicians as well. Uh, so I'm going to show you guys the rogue version of Draco Pal. It's more uh, focused on the dragons. And more, more Draco Slayers are in it. Uh, but yeah, this deck is... I love this deck. It's one of my favorite decks of all time. If not the favorite, my favorite deck of all time. And I hope you guys uh, learn from this. And destroy your opponents with it. Because I know that I will. Last and before we get going. Make sure guys, the trip game playmats. I you the best playmats you'll ever see. Get them before they sell out. I got a complaint earlier that... Hey Triff man, you told me that the Joker playmat will be... Uh, I could have it, but I literally just right now. I don't have any more. Uh, so I kind of felt bad about that. I'll be sure if you mess with me later, I'll, you know, I'll get you one when it comes to stock again. But if you guys see a playmate you like, get it ASAP because they do sell out faster than you think. Hope you guys like the video, and we'll see you guys next video. Peace!